All right, it's Christmas time, I think, because my lord, do you know how much patience we had to have? We, we woke up this morning, our Twitter was going crazy. It's the Rogue One teaser, I know you're excited. Oh, oh yeah, my wife woke me up at 5 a.m. said, watch the trailer with me, I'm like, I can't. Uh, Dennis? Yeah, all those emails and tweets came in and they were like, oh, have you seen it, have you seen it? And we saw little still images and whatnot and I was like, no, no, no we're gonna do this. It's, I've gotta hold up. Yeah, man, it's time to watch the teaser trailer. We've been waiting, when is it gonna happen? People, whoever Shut up and play the game thing. All right, all right, thing. fine, 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 here we go. I hate you. <laughs> Oh, there's music. Nice little piano concertos. There we go. Jen Ursa. Jen Ursa. Forgery of Imperial documents. There, that's the rebel base. That's the rebel base. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm on Lothma, there. She sounds perfect. Nice. I rebel. Eh. Oh, oh my god, she wow. looks perfect as Mon Mothma. Is that an actress or a man? Oh. Did they get like her daughter or something? Huh. Oh, 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 look at this. A weapons test. To to it. Oh, 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 sweet. oh, we never seen that before. No. Yes, sir. Oh, I love it. They're already setting up that she's that? very different. Wait, this oh, is a Death Wartime, Star, man. the Death Star War, uh, Grand Admiral outfit. Is it? I don't. I it didn't look like Thrawn at all, but it's definitely oh, a girl. Oh, Whitaker. it's for us. That's a nice. There's a shot we saw. What do they do when they catch you? Oh, Samurai. Oh, 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 oh. Donnie Yen. Oh, that's a great shot. Those are two great shots. Was that Vader? Uh -huh. That looks awesome. The walkers. What will you become? Whoa. What's that? Oh. Well, uh, clearly a spy. like yeah, yeah. spy. Or, Oh, I like how they're building, the, they've got the two themes playing together. Yep. Still hate the a Star Wars story tag, but whatever. whatever. No Vader. No, unless that was a glimpse of him or something. No, I'll tell you what, I actually, kudos to them for not putting Vader in there, and I'll tell well, you Well, we what. talked about that before. I said the first teaser, you don't need to have him I thought him maybe they had breathing or something, but no, nothing of him. And I, you know, that shows confidence in the film and also for them saying, hey, listen, this is what the story's about first. And when we give you the full trailer, you might get a little special. I loved it, man. Exactly, we talked about it for like the Battlefront tone and like the, the it yeah. feels, Gareth Edwards said that this is a war film. It certainly felt like one. I, I loved it. Oh yeah, I loved it too. It's a, it's a much darker tone. I wonder how dark it's gonna be like compared to something like an Empire Strikes Back. I mean, we just had Force Awakens. That was a little of a lighter tone, sure. more like New Hope. I wonder how dark they're gonna get. I like the fact that they were talking to when Mon Mothma speaks, she goes, there's a, New weapon is going to be tested soon. It's like, oh, so it's like that early. Mm -hmm. That shot of the dish mm -hmm. yeah. being put into place. Yeah. Like the, this was the final moments of the Death Star really being assembled and all that. I, I gotta say, I did not dig the line as this is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. I, <laughs> yeah. I didn't dig that one line. But other than that one line, yeah, it was exactly what they said at Celebration. This is gonna. Yep. This is totally a war film. You didn't see any space combat going on, um, which is fine. And that's didn't cool. need to yet. Yeah. Didn't you? But think about this too. Remember, Disney, which you know owns Lucasfilm and Marvel, they just gave us a whole huge ad campaign, and it was a long time before they showed us Spider-Man. So I've got a feeling it might. I still think Vader will be in the first full trailer, I think so, but yeah. I yeah. won't be shocked the if they first. don't because the way they've handled Spider-Man too. See, I don't. See, it's a little bit of difference though. There I, is. I think yeah. because you don't need to sell Spider-Man to sell that movie, as where a lot of people aren't are still not don't know that this is a standalone film. They think it, some people don't even know this movie's coming out. By putting Vader in there, it's clear of when the timeline is. But we didn't need him for this. Yeah. I really like the setup. I like the, the Diego Luna um, brief. So I love the Forrest Whitaker mm -hmm. brief stuff. Donnie Yen. The Donnie, Donnie Yen Donnie shot. Yen. Look, yeah. I want to see it. that whole scene. Yeah. When Donnie Yen pulls out that staff, man, I'm like, okay, I got to see this it whole thing. It was kind of strange to see the ad ads in that kind of tropical environment. Yeah. We've yeah. never seen that before. Well, we well, saw we, it in we Rebels saw it in, once. in games. We've seen it in games and different things. Yeah. Like yeah, that, but yeah. not live action. Rebel, not in live action. Right, right, not live action. So it's very, and I look, as far as Ben Mendelsohn goes in that outfit, now wait, now, I am not going to say that that is Thrawn, mm -hmm. but they have cherry picked, they have done certain sure. things. Dave Filoni said there's some kind of announcement that, li that we're gonna get some character. What if he lines up and that is our version of Thrawn? So you think they're gonna Could introduce be. him in Rebels yeah. and then 
have him in. in I think in, that would make sense. Because remember, we've seen other games now lately with that Grand Admiral outfit that's not Thrawn. So, I mean, that is clearly, it, it's become snobs. That's the Grand Admiral uniform. Right. So just because it's a Grand Admiral, I, I have to believe that if they were going to do Thrawn, I don't think they would take away his his traditional blue skin, the red eyes, because that on camera would look really cool. Yeah. So he's clearly some kind of military leader, but I'll say there's a 15% chance they say he's Thrawn. He's yeah. just, just different. It's a chance. Um, okay, so we clearly loved it. Loved the tone of it. I didn't need it to be. I liked how different it felt, like you were saying, from like The Force Awakens. It needed to be. It needs to be a oh, yeah. separate story. And so, I, I mean, I saw, I, again, I saw some tweets that came in and said, I was a little over underwhelmed. I don't know how you're underwhelmed because to me, it is exactly the kind of tone. It's a teaser. That I oh, it's, it's for yeah. a Not teaser. A yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. And again, I do really like the fact that they're making this our, our heroine in this. Right off the bat in this short teaser, they've told the audience very loudly, this is a very different character from yep. Ray. So we've got another female lead, but a totally different character. I think very unlike Leia at the same time, a little bit of the spunkiness of Leia in there, mm -hmm. but other than that, this is a very unique character that I don't think we've seen before. That's cool. All right, that's our reaction slash review of the Rogue One teaser. Now it's time for you guys. Did you love the trailer? Did you find it underwhelming? Share your thoughts right now. Make sure that you click like on this video. Share it. You can watch today. We're going to be doing a lot of this coverage on Movie Talk. And then how about this for a Collider Jedi Council? Me, this gentleman right here, Tiffany Smith, and then Darth Maul and Kanan. That's right. Sam Witwer and Freddie Prinze Jr. are going to be on the show talking Rogue One and everything Star Wars related. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you in a little bit.